Hi everyone, this is Vivek Jai, the fourth year integrated MS in chemistry at NYSER. And in this video, I am going to tell you three things. Using the data of previous few years and the trends, I am going to tell you what are going to be expected ranks at which you can get a seat at NYSER Bhuvaneshwar or CBS Mumbai. Second, I am going to tell you the entire counseling process for NEST 2021. And number three, I am going to tell you, even if you're not right now having so good rank, should you actually appear the counseling? Because a lot of times what happens, seat goes vacant. So I'm going to discuss that as well. So with that, let me start the video. But again, before starting the video, I am very, very excited to share with you the hard work we have been doing for past several months. And along with the hard work of so many students, parents and our whole team, we have got some fantastic results for NEST 2021 exam. Let me just share it with you. So as you can see, we have got AIR1 in general PWD EWS category. He is Ved Mandy. Then some of the top ranks which we have got are All India Rank 12, All India Rank 20, All India Rank 21 for CBS, All India Rank 42 for NYSER, All India Rank 88 for CBS, all India rank 81, All India rank 173, All India rank 128 and a long list as you can see here. So very heartily congratulations to all these people. Also there are so many people who have got really fantastic ranks you can write below and I'll be very happy to meet you all uh, as juniors at NYSER or maybe you can go to CBS up to your choice. I will also make a video which one you should choose should you choose NYSER or CBS. Uh, and some of you might also get ISER after IET exam is done. So I'll also make detailed video on that. So don't worry about all of that. I'm going to make videos. If you want me to make more videos on counseling process or you're facing any kind of problem, you can just let me know. So with that, let's come to the first point that what are the trends in previous year papers and pre previous year results of NEST exam and what can we conclude about NEST 2021 that at what rank you will be getting seat at NYSER or CBS. First of all, I would like to tell you and clarify that please do not compare the closing ranks of NEST 2018 or before that because at that time the scenario was totally different. There used to be only one common merit list for both NYSER and CBS and there was no mandatory uh, fourth section. There were only three sections needed, not fourth section, the cutoff marks. So for NYSER. Therefore, the closing ranks were totally different and they used to go really high till the last round. So right now I have the analysis of 2019 and 2020 of which the most accurate will be the closing ranks of 2020 for the following reasons. What will be the reason? Number one, there was COVID in 2020 and number two, there was online counseling. So online counseling for NEST started in 2020 before that what used to happen since people would have to be present physically at NYSER or CBS a lot of people could not travel or could not for some reason reach NYSER as a result they lost their seats and other people would get the seats but by 2020 online filling and counseling is easy so the closing rank for last round decreased. So in 2020 what were the closing ranks for various categories for NYSER? So for general category, by the last round, it was 527. For OBC, it was 219, 219. For SC, it was 91. For ST, it was 34. For PWD general, it was around 5. For PWD OBC, it was 7. For Jammu and Kashmir, it was 6. So this was the cutoff for NYSER in year 2020. On the basis of this previous year cutoff, this year may be about same, but as counseling for NYSER is much before NEET and JE. So there is a serious issue that students that otherwise used to go to various IITs, NITs or AIMS, you know, through NEET or JE exams, they would also book the seat at NYSER and this will actually a bit further reduce the rank for getting into NYSER. But still uh, for kind of safe prediction, I would say that those it will be about same, not too much different. But uh, yes, there are chances that it may go lower. Now for CBS, we do not have exact data we could not find from uh, any of the sources. But on the basis of previous year ranks of NYSER, we can predict about CBS. So for CBS, it will be for general category around 200 rank. In general EWS category about 30 rank, for OBC about 60 rank, 
for SC around 40 rank and for ST around 15 rank. So I think those will be the cutoff ranks. So maximum ranks till which you can get admission to NIZER or CBS by the last round of counseling. Still, a lot of you might be feeling demotivated if you did not get a really good rank in NEST. Don't worry about it. God has given you so many more chances. Obviously, you have JE and NEET, but apart from that, you have IAT exam. You can get ISERs. There are seven ISERs. There are about 1734 seats, like almost nine times the seats of NIZER, right? So there are much more probability. Also, IAT exam is much easier than NEST exam. So I highly recommend you all to you know, do well in your IAT exam. If you want more guidance for IAT, just like for NEST, I have also launched courses for IAT. You can get in my Telegram channel. Now, let me come to the second point, which is the detailed counseling process. So as you can see here that in this website, this website link I am going to give you in the description below. So for CBS, the merit list is not out yet. They have not yet started their counseling process, but for NIZER, it is started. And for NIZER, it is this way as given in this website. You can get the link in description that in this website, you will get everything. No need to get worried about anything. So as you can see, I have selected admission procedure right now. In admission procedure, you can see that on 3rd September 2021, merit list uploaded on NIZER web page. So it is uploaded as you can uh, go here and see merit list you can just come here and click on merit list and it will just show you the merit list for example merit list uh, is one two three four like this and then uh, rank number nine is obc category rank one similarly as you go below rank 28 is actually sc category rank one so similarly 34 is obc rank two like this so you can see the whole merit list and you can see, you can match your roll number and see the serial number in this merit list that at what number your serial number is. That will help you to know, you know, in which round you will be called for counseling. Now, let me go back to admission procedure. So on 3rd September, this merit list was uploaded. On 3rd September itself, email will be sent to all candidates in merit list for expression of interest, EOI. A Google form will be there. I think all of you would have got it whoever is in the merit list and you have to just click yes. If you are interested to come to NIZER, you have to click yes. If not, you will click no. But if you click no or if you do not fill that EOI form, you will not be allowed in counseling process. So that is very important step. If you guys are facing any problem, you can message me or you can mail the help desk of NIZER. Then on 10th of September, the deadline last date for EOI is there. Uh, by 5 p.m. 10th of September. If you don't fill it or if you feel no, you will not be allowed in counseling process. On 11th, from 11th to 16th of September, all of people who have filled yes, right? All the people who have filled yes in EOI, expression for interest, all those who are interested for going to NIZER, you will get, I think, another mail, but you all must upload the documents, all the required documents. Where you can see the documents required, it is given in the left side, that required documents, Aadhaar card, 10th certificate, 12th mark sheet. If you are SC, ST and all that, you have to fill your caste certificate, OBC, NCL, disability certificate if you are in PWD category and all that, proof of citizenship if you are not from India, if you are born, born outside India. So all those documents, if you are in those category, you need to fill that. Then from 17th, note again, if you for, forget to fill and upload these documents, you will again uh, not be allowed in further admission queue and all. On 17th, they will release an admission queue. As you can see option here, admission queue, when you click on this, you will see uh, it is blank, right? Because it is not yet uploaded yet. So on 17th, they will fill this admission queue and round one will start. And similarly, they will, you know, call basically 200 candidates for admission and you will be ha having to pay the fees. After you are done with paying fees, there will be people who will not be able to fill the documents. Some will fill wrong documents. Some may not be able to pay the fees. So all these people will be removed. And then round two will start on 23rd September. So similarly, round two, then round three, like this until the all the 200 seats are filled, they will do like this. So I hope this was clear to you. Now, if you have any questions, you can write in comments below or message me on Telegram, link in description. 
Now, third round, whether you should apply for counseling or not. What I personally think is, if you are interested to go to Niger, all of you must fill the EOI form if you have got it. Once you have filled it, note that a lot of people actually lose hope and just they just leave it. However, many times it happens that seats remain vacant. A lot of people sometimes upload wrong documents, sometimes do not fill the fees on time and all those reasons. A lot of people actually do mistakes and lose seats. So people who are at higher ranks like 500, 600, sometimes you always have finite chance. It's not that you have got zero chance. You always have some chance that person before you if he leaves the seats, you might be allowed to get the seat, right? So that is why I think even if you're not having so good rank, still you should be uh, always checking the updates. You might get 